uh, your first world championship. How's the feeling? What's your big takeaway from it? Oh, a bit more practice, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> a lot more. Um, yeah, just saying the level of the world class shooters here is amazing. Really uh, puts it in perspective where you need to be to compete with them. Well, the, I mean, they've all been in the same place as you. They've all gone to their first world championship. They've all started somewhere. So it, it's a learning curve. You're, in, you're very early in your shooting career, so you've got a long way to go. Um, but it's nice to, to measure yourself against the best in the world. Oh, it's a bit nerve-wracking. I was shooting 50 metres, and the guy beside me was in a um, silver medalist in the last Olympics. So that was a little bit nerve-wracking. Yeah, it's hard. Obviously, just to, you can't just be in your own bubble. You you look down the range, you see these names, you see these people. For you, what's a highlight of being here representing Australia at a World Championship? Representing Australia. Yeah. Yeah, that proud to wear the uniform and hopefully I did the uniform a little bit of pride. Oh, absolutely. I mean, your first time in, you've got to try and feel comfortable in the environment. It's a step up from what you're used to doing. And I think you said to me a couple of days ago, you normally train by yourself. So to be in a range full of people, is some, sometimes yeah, it takes a little bit to get used to. Yeah. Incredible difference. Yeah. Oh, just knowing that you're competing against the world's best was pretty hard to get my head around. Yeah, and obviously watching the finals, um, watching these top competitors, do you take something away from them? Do you sort of look at what they do and and think I could maybe implement that into my own? Yeah, well that's uh, one of the advantages of coming to an event like this. So you can watch those people and learn from it and hopefully move up.